Hey, William Gilmore here for thescreenwritersjourney.com. It's day 241 of season two here on The Journey. And uh, I can't believe I've done like uh, three of these blogs in a row. I haven't done that in quite a while. So it's kind of exciting, isn't it? Anyway, today is uh, Saturday, and uh, that's the Saturday group, Inside the Room. Uh, we're working on pitching and developing a TV series called Below the Fold. <laughs> Uh, I've been, um, I thought this group was going to be more about the writing and, and developing of the series, and it's really been a lot more about the pitching, which has been fine because I'm not very good at pitching, and I really bombed uh, last week uh, with the pitch itself. Uh, got too complicated, got into too much too soon, and uh, the, the writer from This Is Us said, just give me the log line. Just give me the log line. Uh, I sort of fumbled through that because I wasn't prepared just to do the log line. And, uh, but I redeemed myself with the, the script. Uh, that went over really, really well. And uh, I was uh, told by um, Ben, who's one of the co-hosts of the group, one of the moderators, that since we probably were going to have some extra time this week, that maybe I should bring in my first act. Because last week, half the class went and presented their teaser this week, the second half was supposed to present their teaser. We got through more than half last week, and we had a couple of no-shows. So we weren't sure uh, if we were going to have anything to read this week at all. Um, so I've been working on that uh, first act. Uh, I had a really great read, great read on Thursday night at Rewrites with it. And I felt pretty confident, but I got some notes. So, uh, and based on some comments, things that I should be looking for, Going forward from the teaser, uh, from, from inside the room last week, and the notes that I got specifics on the first day this week at rewrites, uh, I did some uh, last minute rewriting all last night and changed some things. It felt like it was going a little fast, maybe, getting through things a little too quickly, so I tried to slow things down and build a little more character into it, and uh, I took those in today uh, to read, and my pitch went much better. Uh, it was short, sweet, to the point. Um, it was a little more than a log line, so I got a little extra detail in there, set it up, and then we read uh, the script. The script went well. I got really good comments uh, across the board uh, from people. Uh, the big note, there wasn't quite the enthusiasm this week that there was last week. Um, still great comments, but the enthusiasm wasn't as much so, I was a little disappointed in that. Um, and as we were reading it, I was thinking, "Uh oh, these changes I've made may not have been the best. Maybe I should have left it alone and done what we did Thursday night at, uh, at rewrites." It felt a little slower to me. Uh, I felt like it was dragging a little bit. And I'm like, "Oh, oh, oh, pick it up, pick it up, guys, come on!" And uh, when it was over. The comments were, wow, this is fast. This is really, really fast-paced. And I was like, really? So it kind of slowed me. Didn't say that out loud. But I said, oh, okay. Um, and they weren't sure that that was a bad thing, other than the fact that procedural dramas like this uh, that take place in a newspaper tend to be slower and more, I don't know, cere not cerebral, but you know, they, they tend to be a little more thought in them rather than so much action oriented, and uh, this felt a little more action oriented than uh, word based. Is that, is that the way I want to put it? Um, except that then uh, the uh, moderator of the group said, "Well, unless it's twenty four for journalists, because in which case, it's great. It's you know, it's flies. And he goes, if you're going for twenty four for journalists." You're spot on. The problem with that is you got to come up with basically enough material for a season every episode. Um, so that that's the uh, the drawback of doing that. So good comments, and afterwards, uh, Adam did tell me he goes, he goes, it's really good writing. It's good writing. So really good comments. Um, there's a little question in my mind because I thought it had slowed down too much, and they thought maybe it was still a little too fast. So, uh, basically, I, I got to make a, a decision on whether I want to keep it uh, as a fast-paced uh, item or, you know, draw it out a little more, uh, extend the drama. 
Um, I'm not sure that it's necessarily an issue at this point because in, in the story anyway, um, because they're they're trying to get a scoop. They're trying to beat the wire services and any other agency in town from breaking the story. So there's a sense of urgency, and, and, and we got to get this quickly. Um, so I think in moments like that, the pacing is okay. So I want to keep it quick, and then I can slow it down and get more character uh, development going in, in slower scenes you know, before the next big development in the story happens. Um, so something to think about. Uh, it was a good reaction. This was not our last uh, meeting. I thought it was our last. Next week is. Uh, next week is our final pitch. Uh, we have 10 minutes, uh, and we have to... Uh, sell the, the idea of the series, and then walk them through the pilot beat by beat in 10 minutes or less. So, got to do some prep for that one. The sad news is uh, Brendan, uh, Brand, Brandon, 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 uh, who is the, uh, the young writer who did not show up last week, and I was concerned he might because he was, was feeling kind of down about some of the criticisms of his pitch and his story and I reached out to him this week and sent him an email and said hey guy you know you've come this far you know we get to present the actual writing this week you know don't don't miss your chance you've made it all the way to the end why give up now you know maybe when we hear you know what you've written that'll spark you know something that we can tell you what, what what's missing in the pitch or maybe that will point out what's missing in the story and why the pitch isn't working. You know, th this is a chance to learn and grow. And I also offered him the opportunity if he wanted to meet during the week before we went in to uh, this final uh, reading, if he wanted to meet and go over his pitch or his story idea and maybe work on some ideas, I would, I would meet with him and you know, offer whatever I could. And I didn't hear back from him, so I didn't anticipate he was going to show up. And he didn't. And it's a shame, because uh, he's got a premise, he's got a concept, um, he just needs more development, and he hadn't developed it enough yet to, to really pitch the idea, is the problem. And, uh, and he kind of took it a little too personally. And you can't do that in this business. Um, they, will, they will eat you up and spit you out, you got to have a tough skin. Uh, which I found out this week when I was doing uh, some log line work in anticipation of uh, this this uh, event today, uh, developing my, my log line for Below the Fold. But I'll get in that next time. I'm going to do a whole thing about log lines. Um, but it's been a good, it's been a good week. Uh, great reading Thursday night uh, at Rewrites on the piece. Really great comments uh, on, on the piece Saturday. And Friday, I uh, started marketing... Uh, not come ups, nowhere to run, formerly come ups, uh, through a query service uh, with uh, that log line. So hopefully by Monday we'll know something and how that's working. Uh, I've been getting some responses. I'm going to save that though until the next one, let you know what it is. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm leaving Gilmore for the Screenwriters Journey. .com. Please join us next time to find out everything you need to know about screenwriting that I don't know yet. I have no idea what that means. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Please keep up the writing.